Earth, to the best of our knowledge and understanding, is the only planet that has living organisms. Their diversity simply cannot be overstated. The branch of natural science that deals with the study of living organisms is called biology. In this video, we will learn about biology as an extension of natural science and the different branches of biology. Natural science is the study of all observable natural phenomena. It can be further divided into physical sciences and life sciences. Physical sciences include physics, chemistry and astronomy. On the other hand, life sciences are concerned with the study of living organisms. Biology is a vast and dynamic field. There are numerous types of living organisms and each living organism can be understood at different levels of analysis. The branch of biology that deals with the study of animals is called zoology. Veterinary doctors or vets and zoologists are professionals who engage in this field. While vets are only concerned with providing medical care to animals, the job of zoologists is much more detailed. They may study a number of animal species and their interaction with the ecosystem. The branch of biology that deals with the study of plants is known as botany. A botanist is a scientist who investigates the life and reproduction of plants. An important application of botany is improved crop cultivation. Did you know that the bananas you eat are seedless because of the efforts of ancient botanists? Wild bananas contain numerous seeds, but through careful selective breeding, these ancient botanists were able to produce seedless bananas. The branch of biology that deals with the study of microorganisms such as bacteria and viruses is called microbiology. Microorganisms may pose a grave threat to humans. They can transmit infectious diseases or cause crop destruction and food spoilage. Therefore, it is necessary to understand the living processes of microorganisms in order to counteract the possible threats. Nevertheless, there are a lot of microorganisms that are beneficial to humans, animals, and other living organisms as well. The human body contains more bacteria than human cells. The bacteria found in the human gut help us digest food more effectively. Thus, it is important to understand the role of microorganisms for better public health. The branch of biology that deals with the study of structures of living organisms is called morphology. This branch can be further subdivided into external morphology and internal morphology or anatomy. External morphology deals with the study of outward appearances such as the size, shape and color of organisms. On the other hand, anatomy deals with the study of internal structures such as the bones and organs of humans, animals and other living organisms. The branch of biology that deals with the study of functions of different parts of living organisms is called physiology. For example, Understanding how humans maintain a constant body temperature of 37 degrees Celsius. The different organ systems of the body act in accordance with one another to maintain a stable body temperature. The branch of biology that deals with the study of tissues is called histology. Scientists undertake studies in this field to understand the structure of tissues and to link this structure with the functions of tissues. Marcello Malpighi, the father of histology, discovered through a microscope that invertebrates don't breathe through lungs. Instead, they breathe through small pores in their body segments called trachea. The study of the structures and functions of cells and cellular organelles is called cell biology. All living organisms are made up of tiny units called cells. 
By understanding the functioning of healthy cells, scientists can come up with better treatments and cures for various diseases. Genetics is the branch of biology that deals with the study of genes and their roles in inheritance. Geneticists understand why and how certain characteristics may be passed down generations while other characteristics may not. Due to the prevalence of various genetic diseases, this is another field of biology that is really important for public health. The branch of biology that studies the formation, growth, and development of an embryo into a baby is called embryology. All living organisms that reproduce sexually begin their lives as a tiny group of cells called an embryo. The development of the embryo from a fetus to a baby is studied in embryology. The branch of biology that deals with the classification of living things is called taxonomy. Organisms with similar characteristics are grouped together, whereas organisms with dissimilar characteristics belong to different groups. Moreover, every organism is given a unique scientific name in accordance with the principles of binomial nomenclature. For example, the scientific name of humans is Homo sapiens. The branch of biology that deals with the study of interactions between organisms and their environment is called environmental biology. All living organisms depend upon each other and the environment for their survival. Humans have disrupted previously stable communities of living organisms due to global warming. For example, Due to the melting of glaciers and ice caps, the number of polar bears around the world is gradually decreasing. Thus, it is important to understand how living organisms affect the environment and vice versa. In this video, we learned that biology is a branch of natural science that deals with the study of living organisms. There are numerous branches of biology, but each branch deals with understanding different aspects of living organisms. The boundaries between these branches are not definitive. To solve a biological problem, different kinds of biologists must work together to address it. For example, if a microorganism infects insects and destroys crops, both microbiologists and botanists must work together to find a solution. Lastly, one of the intriguing aspects of biology is its level of complexity across all levels of analysis. You may have noticed that we can observe animals or plants as communities or we can look at individual cells. Nevertheless, understanding these life processes is equally difficult rewarding and important.